um, in Seattle. And I didn't get to experience much of that because my parents left the Hasidic community when I was fairly young. So I was always curious to, to know what that time in my life had been like because I've seen a few pictures and uh, I heard a few stories, but I couldn't really envision it because it was all such a part of my young life. So I asked my mom about it. I asked her, I was like, you know, how did I manage to fit in in that world when I was from a very young age so clearly gay? Um, and she told me this story um, about a video of me from when I was very young. There's this uh, VHS tape, in case you don't know what a VHS tape is because you're too young. It's like if TikTok lived in a tiny brick. Um, there's this VHS tape of me from when I was very young and it shows a synagogue with all these nice Jewish boys dancing the hora and they're celebrating a high holy holiday and it keeps panning across the room and you have all these boys dancing and you're like, well, where's Miss Cracker and all this? And uh, the camera keeps panning and keeps panning and finally it lands on me. Finger in the center of my yarmulke, separate from everyone else, giving you turns and turns and turns and turns. Just gay as the summer day is long and just, <laughs> just like the biggest sore thumb in the entire room. But um, it was wonderful to see because, you know, nobody was making any comments. Everyone was letting young Miss Cracker uh, celebrate the High Holy Holiday in the way that she wanted to. And I think that's the most beautiful thing. My mom actually ended up showing me that VHS tape. Um, and it's so incredible to see that I was who I was um, from a very young age. And also that um, the community respected uh, who I was. They let me just be myself, and that would be an ongoing theme, so that it was an ongoing part of my Jewishness, um, what, which is that, you know, I always found Jewish communities um, where I could get a little bit of respect for who I was.